Hey, how's it going? It's Henry here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about flex targeting on Facebook. What is it, first of all, and how can you use flex targeting to take your Facebook ad results to a whole nother level? So if you know anything about Facebook ads, what you know is there's three different components to a Facebook ad. You've got the, on one hand, the Facebook ad campaign level, where you choose the campaign objective. You've got the ad set level where you choose the targeting. And then you've got the advert where you choose the creative and the copy and so on. So flex targeting is down to the second component, which is the ad set level. In this level, again, as I said, we're, we you want to specify the type of audience you want to target. And flex targeting is very useful when you've got two different uh, audiences that sort of intersect or overlap. And in order to illustrate this point, I'm going to put on, on the screen a Venn diagram because that is basically what you want to be doing with flex targeting. So let me explain. With flex targeting, say you've got interest X who you want to target or audience X, people who fit a certain demographic, and they overlap with audience Y. So basically, you want to be targeting the section in the middle, um, which is what we're going to do with flex targeting. So, so basically... To, to narrow in on this example, let me give it the example of cat necklaces because this is a very popular thing selling on Facebook these days, cat necklaces. So with the example of cat necklaces, if you think carefully, you've got two different audiences here. You've got an audience that are lovers of cats, people that are really, really into cats. And then obviously they've also got to like jewelry. So those are two separate things. And what you want to do is overlap that with your Facebook targeting. Question is, how do you do that? So basically, when you go to the ad set level in your power editor, what you want to do is first choose interest for cat lovers, I love cats or whatever pages that come up in relation to loving cats. And then you want to go to click on the narrow further button, which will allow you to then customize it a bit more. And then you want to choose people that are into jewelry or choose jewelry brands and whatever. So that gives you two separate audiences that of course interlap. So Facebook is then going to go out and search for cat lovers that also meet the criteria of liking jewelry. So that's a perfect audience for you. And that's an example of flex targeting. So you can, as I said, use that to, uh, in any example where you've got two audiences that overlap, flex targeting is perfect for that on Facebook. So I hope this video helped. It's once again a very short one, but just wanted to give you a bit of value today. And Please ask in the comments if you've got any question related to this and I'll clarify it either in the comments or in a future video. Please like this sort of content if you, you like this video. Please, I would appreciate it a lot because I'm uh, trying to put out really good content for you guys. And subscribe if you like this sort of content and I'll see you on the next video.